How's it going everyone? Today we are going to be viewing the Leji Mini VR headset. So let's get right into it. Starting with the front, they have one for a phone clip mechanism where you slide in and out your phone and center it using the integrator line right on top. That is slanted at an 8 degree angle for what they claim better experience, which I did not find an issue with it or a difference. But moving on, we find two buttons on each side that may look like two capacitive touch buttons, but instead they are a cleverly hidden spring-loaded focus adjustment system that pops out like so by pressing both at the same time. And to dial in the focus, you simply push it in while it clicks incrementally. Yes, it is very easy to push in and you'll have to readjust when that happens. This time we will skip right into the lens and finish off with the comfort level on this one. So the lens here is definitely not the best out there. It is not perfectly sharp and the field of view is not the best. They have a claimed FOV of 96 degrees, but I have to say it's more along the lines of 86 degrees, similar to that of the Mojin XT, since it also has rounded lens walls. One thing that makes this headset stand out again from the rest of the mini compact VR headsets is that it has an IPD adjustment function. And lastly, we have the comfort level, the strap, the face pad, and the nose room. The strap is quite long and is pretty decent. It gets the job done and it doesn't get in the way of the experience. But what does get in the way are the face pad and the nose room. The face pad is high quality but it is very small and insufficient, since it allows your face to touch the outer plastic and your forehead touching the area in between the lenses when using the strap. Not comfortable. The nose room on the other hand is the smallest nose room I have ever seen. Just look at it compared to all these other headsets. If you do use the strap, you cannot keep this headset on for more than 5 seconds before you want to take it off and forget about it. Simply uncomfortable. So in conclusion, this headset had a lot going for it in terms of sleek design and function, but when it came to comfort level, it failed completely. And even if you use it without the strap, it is still not very fun to use since you will still have this edge digging into your nose. And that is pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. If this video was helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more VR content reviews. See you guys in the next video and take care everyone.